Let me just state for the record that I think Ted McGinley is a really fun actor to watch on TV. In fact, he's one of my favorites. And yet, Ted seems to be saddled with the brand of being something of a show killer, which I believe is absolutely not true. Ted McGinley has never been the problem, my friends. But I think it's fair to say that way back in the 80s, Ted's appearances on three beloved TV programs, Happy Days, The Love Boat, and Dynasty, made it easy for folks to point their fingers and joke that if Ted showed up as a regular on a TV program, well, it was probably on its last legs. Heck, I've made some sort of reference myself to this in one or two of the videos that I've made. It's an easy gag, and because Ted is such a memorable actor, one that people just seem to latch on to. So much so that John Hine, the man who wrote the book on TV shows that jumped the shark, has called Ted McGinley the patron saint of shark jumping. For those that aren't familiar with the term jump the shark, that's the moment on a TV show when you realize it's lost its magic. Typically, cast members start to leave the show, and new actors are brought in, often with lesser results. You know, Ted was still a few years away from joining Happy Days when that show literally jumped the shark. And if fans of The Love Boat and Dynasty are truly honest with themselves, I think that they will acknowledge that those shows jumped the shark long before Ted was hired as well. One show that Ted definitely did not kill was Married with Children. Ted joined the cast of that show at the beginning of the fifth season, playing Marcy's second husband, Jefferson Darcy making her wonderfully named Marcy Darcy, by the way. With McGinley on the show, ratings actually increased over the course of the next year or so, and Ted would stick with Married with Children until the end of its 11th season run. What I loved about McGinley on this show was the wonderful chemistry that he had with actor Ed O'Neill, who played Al Bundy. While he was Marcy's trophy husband on the show, he was more importantly... Al's sidekick, much like Barney Rubble was to Fred Flintstone. Or maybe even better stated, Jefferson and Al were like a modern-day version of Ed Norton and Ralph Cramden. After Married with Children, Ted continued to find consistent and memorable work both in TV and movies. And then in 2003, he joined the cast of Hope and Faith, which starred Kelly Ripa and Faith Ford and ran for three seasons. A few years later, Ted made fun of his reputation as a show killer on the final episode of the animated program Batman the Brave and the Bold. In that episode, Ted takes over the vocal duties for fan-favorite character Aquaman from regular voice actor John DiMaggio, and it's all part of the plot. It's really hard to describe everything that goes on in this episode titled Mightfall, but if you are a fan of Batman and Ted McGinley and you haven't seen this episode, track it down ASAP. It's great, and a very fitting way for this show to come to its conclusion. You know, even though over the years Ted has joked about and embraced the idea of him being the patron saint of shark jumping, I have to believe that there are moments when it maybe just stings a little bit. Ted McGinley is nothing like most of the characters that he's played on TV and in movies. In fact, believe it or not, early on in life, Ted wanted to be a preacher. And even though the path that he chose has taken him in a dramatically different direction, he's never lost his faith or questioned it. Ted McGinley is a family man. He's been married to actress Gigi Rice for almost three decades now, and the two of them have raised two wonderful children, now adults. Because of Ted's strong faith, a lot of his more recent work has been on the motion picture screen, partnering with a company called Pure Flix, which produces uplifting and wholesome faith-based feature films. In 2014, Ted could be seen headlining the movie Redeemed with actress Terry Copley. Other films that Ted has made for Pure Flix include 2015's Do You Believe and God's Not Dead in 2018, which also starred Academy Award-winning actress Tatum O'Neill. Additionally, Ted recently voiced the character of Danny Clay in the 2015 animated reboot of Transformers. He had Ted keeps darn busy. But you know the cool thing about this guy? He still finds time to reach out and connect with fans at Comic-Cons and other fan-based events. Here he is speaking on a panel with Marcy Darcy herself, Amanda Beers. One thing is for certain, Ted has a tremendous work ethic. And come on, 
let's all just admit it, he doesn't really deserve to be called a show killer or the patron saint of shark jumping. If anything, Ted should be held up as an example of how you do a career right in Hollywood. Which takes us all the way back to happy days and this wonderful lady, Marion Ross. Ted has called her his acting mentor and a really good friend. Yep, it was on happy days where Marion took Ted under her wing and helped him understand what it would take to have a long and successful career. And I, for one, am grateful to Marion for her acts of kindness to a young actor so long ago. Truthfully, regardless of what path we journey down in life, we all need people like Marion Ross, who definitely helped Ted get his career moving in the right direction. So, end of the day, who cares if Ted joining Happy Days later in its run was a sign that things were coming to an end? We were all still able to enjoy some light entertainment with the Cunningham family and the Fonz, and maybe even more importantly, Ted McGinley's acting career took flight and continues to soar to this day. All right, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.